Around Kansas, brought to you by Santa Fe Trail Meats in Overbrook, or visit us online at sftmeats.com. Come along, boys, and I'll tell you a tale, I'll tell you of my troubles on the old Chisholm Trail. How many times has that song been sung throughout Kansas? The Chisholm Trail, named for Jesse Chisholm, who was a part Scottish, part Cherokee, trader, interpreter, guide, businessman, and occasionally even a finder of lost or kidnapped children. He traveled that trail numerous times, but the cattle that made it famous, you know, they only used it a year or so before Jesse died. He died in March of 1868, barely a year after the cattle herds from Texas had begun to use his wagon trail from, from the North Canadian River to Wichita, Kansas. Only a few herds followed the trail while he was alive. You know, that cattle industry was so important, of course, in creating a booming economy in Kansas after the Civil War was over. Those Texas Longhorns, all those cattle that had been created from just a few that the Spaniards had brought over years and years before, they were just virtually everywhere in Texas. Now, Missouri, where they had been marketing those cattle, wouldn't let them in anymore. They had some kind of tick that uh, carried a disease, so the Missourians wouldn't let them in. And that opened up an opportunity for Baxter Springs. Yes, Baxter Springs, first cow town in Kansas, Baxter Springs. They built up stockyards and corrals. They could hold 20,000 cattle at a time with plenty of grass and water. They quickly developed the same sort of reputation that a lot of those other cow towns got, though. You know, one of the uh, historical society comments was every third door was a gambling house or a liquor saloon because, you know, all those cowboys had to unwind after several months on the trail. And there was lots of flowing liquor, card games, and all sorts of other entertainment for them. Some of the other cow towns that sprang up, of course, Abilene comes to mind first, uh, drawing herds from 1867 through 1871. Waterville, a small Kansas town, a little north of Abilene, attracted herds in 68 and 69. Junction City in 69 and 1870. Meanwhile, Chautauqua and Coffeyville in far southeast corner of Kansas saw the peak cattle trade in 69. Salina and Solomon, rivals with Abilene for the cattle trade, also served as cattle destinations in 1869 through 71, and then the trade moved on. Of course, Ellsworth and Great Bend continued through the year 1875. Wichita, cattle town primarily from 1872 to 1876. But the Chisholm Trail's days didn't end in 1876 as the last great herds arrived in Wichita. Four years later, in 1880, Caldwell became a rip-snorting cow town and continued to serve that purpose through 1885. You know, there were some cases where the townsfolks just asked the uh, cow herds to just move on to someplace else because they just couldn't take it. That economic boom had a big cost when all those rowdy cowboys came into town. And, of course, Dodge City, that sprang up as all those... Um, um, herds moved to the west and the trails moved to the west but no matter how many years it lasted the impact and the uh, the mystique around the cowboys and those cow towns and the Chisholm Trail lingers on and man there's a lot of Kansas history for you to explore there get out and see it sometime we'll be right back Soil is the life of a farm, and for 25 years, SureCrop Liquid Crop Nutrition has helped growers produce abundant quality crops while preserving and improving the soils they steward. SureCrop offers complete soil and plant analysis with cropping recommendations, delivery direct to your on-farm storage, and quality crop nutrition custom blended for your field. Choose SureCrop for the assurance of excellence for your soil. Call today or visit their website for more information. 